Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Raven. You're watching RavenTube. How you guys doing? So guys, I'm back again and this time we got a new update regarding Pokemon Go. So there's a new event going on. Which is, there's a new event that is planned and it is going to be in Singapore. Meaning it is the first Pokemon Go event that is going to be in Southeast Asia. So for the first event, they are going to be doing it in Sentosa, Singapore. So there are going to be some interesting Pokemons featured in this event so I will be going through them in a short while so without any further ado let's get started guys and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe because I am giving away an uh, account uh, at 600 subscribers so when I reach 600 subscribers I am going to be giving away a good account which has some shinies some legendaries and stuff like that so if you want to win this account subscribe to the channel and like this video so without any further ado let's get started so the first thing that we can get is that trainers. The first Pokemon Go Safari Zone event in Southeast Asia is taking place in Sentosa, Singapore. Sentosa is known for its pristine beaches, tropical landscape and wide range of entertainment. Ticket holders will encounter rare Pokemon such as grass and flying type Pokemon trophies roaming around the beautiful island of Sentosa from Thursday April 18th to Monday April 22nd. That means it is going to be on April 18 to April 22 which is going to be an entire weekend and this weekend is going to be a really interesting one because we will be able to get a lot of interesting Pokemons because I think there's going to be at least one or two new shinies and you will be able to get at least three types of shinies in this event so this event is going to be mostly featured on the tickets they are going to be trying to sell the tickets a lot so we will be having to go and try to get them first if we can get the QR codes then it's going to be an awesome event for us so let's go on and see what Pokemon are featured in this event so the Pokemon that you can see and featured are the S letter unknown there is Lapras which is I think going to be a shiny because we haven't seen a shiny Lapras in Pokemon Go yet and there is going to be the Alolan form of Executor and there is going to be Shuckle which is another interesting prospect for a shiny but I don't know if they will do it or not but like they did with Pelipper there's a chance that they are going to be doing it and there is going to be Tutree spawning so we can get a not you know legacy but still a shiny Dratini or shiny Dragonite and there is going to be Kropius which I don't think many of us will even care about but the people in Singapore have, who are playing legit and haven't gotten the tropius are going to be excited for this and I am happy for them but still for the spoofers it's not much of a deal because we will be able to get tropius easily and this is going to be shuckle so I don't think that many people will bother about shuckle but still it's a pokemon that hasn't been shown in much in the game and I don't think the shuckle is even in the game right now so I don't know I haven't gotten Shuckle so I think it's still not in the game so it's going to be a new Pokemon I think and there's going to be I think there's going to be Shiny Lapras because every Safari Zone they release at least one Shiny Pokemon so I really hope that it is Shiny Lapras and if I play legit in India I can get one because sometimes they spawn they make the spawns much more frequent and the Shiny rate is much lower all around the world and there is going to be the Alolan Executor so those who haven't gotten the Alolan Executor be sure to get it because you will be able to get them soon during the Safari Zone event so it doesn't have much information regarding the event because the events information much more information will be revealed later and I think there will be some leaks on Twitter because there are some guys on Twitter that will leak a lot of stuff before the official release and there's gonna be some interesting stuff as well and I'm going to be making a video on the starters of the new Pokemon Sword and Shield so be on the lookout for that and this was all that I have for today so I will see you guys in the next video goodbye have a great day and take care and be sure to like this video guys and I got some information regarding much more stuff in the next video so for if you want to see the shiny forms of the new Pokemon starters that are in the Pokemon Sword and Shield then be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.